Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. My name's Leslie. You're in my kitchen down on the farm, and I couldn't be happier to have you here. If you've not subscribed already, please consider doing so. Be sure to share my videos on your social media and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Tell me that you're new and that you've just joined us. So, um, <clears throat> I am making... Well, first of all, let me just say, yes, I'm in a sweatshirt, and yes, it is the middle of June, or, well, I guess it's early June. The weather here is like, like nothing I've ever seen, but anyway, the mornings are really cool, 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 but it'll warm up through the day, and I do have a t-shirt on under this, so <laughs> when it warms up, I will be coming out of the sweatshirt, but we're making a pie today. First of all, it's my cleaning day, hence the look. Um... But, um, I am cleaning. I did such a crazy thing. I scheduled a family meal tonight on my cleaning day. I never do that. We always go out to eat on my cleaning day. What was I thinking? Anyway, so I'm probably cleaning in vain today. But I do want to make a pie. This is going to, it's called a June bug pie. But we are actually going to name it Judabug Pie, just because my sweet Judabug. Um, and then we're going to find a pie that we're going to name after Levi probably next month. Because his birthday, Judah's birthday was in May, and Levi's is coming up in August. So this is going to be named after Judah, and um, the, we'll find a pie somewhere that we name after Levi. But... Um, this recipe can, comes from a bed and breakfast, and like I said, it was originally called the June Bug Pie. But the first thing we got to do is start out with a caramel sauce. So let's run the intro. Y'all hit subscribe if you haven't done so. I know a lot of my viewers have not subscribed yet, so I would love for you to. Um, so we're going to run the intro, come back, and we're going to start off making a caramel sauce. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the country Okay, so we are back. We're here in my kitchen. That's a mess. Because we're fixing to clean. So let me grab a stick of butter. Alright, so we're going in with half a cup, which is one stick of butter and we're going to get the burner going. I like to melt my butter just a little bit before we add the sugar. Um, I know, now let's talk about this. I know a lot of you folks do not like corn syrup and that's fine. So you just use whatever you would use in place of corn syrup. I have never, I mean I don't use it often and, and I do try to look in my ingredients of things I buy, but I don't use this often, but on special things like this, I, I'm fine with using it. So, anyway, you do whatever you need to do. This is my, I, I measure out my creamer of a morning. <laughs> um, and somebody asked me the other day, they know I have a special creamer and I have given it up. Um, and they asked me how that was going. And it is actually going really well. I'm going in with three tablespoons of this corn syrup. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in two cups of brown sugar, packed brown sugar. I'm going to turn my burner down just a little bit so I get everything mixed up. Trying to find the whisk. So we're just going to melt this and 
we have something else to add in. So I'll see you back. Once this all comes to liquid, I'll see you back in just a second. All right, I found the whisk I was looking for and things are kind of melting down nicely. I'm gonna open up this evaporated milk and grab a few more things that we'll put in at the end. And I'll be right back. All right, so as the butter and brown sugar are melting, we're gonna add in 24 marshmallows. I probably need to get a spoon to stir this with. Or some kind of spatula. That may work. All right, so we're going in with 24 big marshmallows. All right, and we're gonna bring this, melt this down, bring it to a boil, and we're gonna boil it for one minute. Turn the heat up a little bit. Now that I'm standing here, when I walk away from making candy or anything like this, I do. if I have to walk away, I do either take it off the burner or turn it down. So in this case, I did turn it down. We're just making a caramel sauce. This caramel sauce is going to go in our um, pie. This pie is going to be so good. Actually, in the pie, I'm going to use pecans and peanuts, so it should be pretty interesting. We're going to make a fudge sauce. to go with it. Actually, the fudge sauce will actually go down in the pie. I could probably switch back to my whisk now, but I'm not. My arm's getting tired. I will say my cabinets are probably just a little bit too tall for me. Um, people have asked me what I would change um, since I remodeled my kitchen, and there, there's not hardly anything I would change. Um, And the, the height of the cabinets don't bother me unless I'm doing something like this, like where I'm actually having to stir and stand over it. All right, let's crank it up a little more and bring it to that bowl. I believe it's starting to boil and I can't stir it away. It's still boiling even though I'm stirring it. So Alexa, set timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. I tried to be really quiet about that because I know I just probably set all of your devices off. Now this will probably have some caramel sauce left over that we could use on either ice cream or make some. Alexa, stop. All right, 
we're going to take this off the heat. I'm going to set it right here. I'm going to add in a whole can of sweetened condensed milk. No, not sweetened condensed milk. Evaporated milk. At least I hope that's what I was supposed to add in. Yes. <laughs> I started second guessing myself. Oh my goodness. Let's see. We're also going to add in some vanilla and some chopped pecans. And we're just going to let that cool and hopefully it will make caramel. Right now it seems awful liquidy, but I think I can probably put it back on the burner and bring it back if I need to. All right, I'll see you back in just a minute. All right, we're just letting it cool away. Let's get everything else ready on the pie. Hey everyone, if you hear the lawnmower outside, I'm sorry. It's a beautiful day. I've got my windows open and Daniel's mowing our yard. And so I apologize. Um, but it's going to be beautiful outside and I can walk outside. <laughs> um, so I, we've got to get this pie going because not only does it need to bake, not only does it need to bake, but then it needs to chill before we can even do a taste test. And I've got to get this video out to you guys as well as having this for our dessert tonight. So, um, what I have is I have, a, it calls for two blocks of cream cheese. I've got it, I didn't have it set out, so I have it setting on my oven top next to my pinto beans that are um, warming, cooking, cooking up. So, um, because we're doing this fast speed, like I'm going store-bought um, pie crust, y'all know I absolutely love a store-bought pie crust, especially this kind that you kind of unroll and it's in the refrigerator section. It is my favorite. Um, pie crusts have come a long way. They did not used to be very good, but now, sorbault. Now they, to me, it's not worth the trouble of making it, but if you want to make it, then by all means, go right ahead. Um, so I am going to roll this out. I may have let it sit out a little too long. Come on now. There we go. Well, guys, we may have to, uh, there we go. All right, let me find my rolling pin and we'll roll this out a little bit. All right. Guys, because of the lawnmower, it was right here at my window. I just rolled it out off camera. Let me dry my pie pan. I always, if things have been stored for a while, I always rinse it out, make sure any dust is off of it. So I just fold that in fourth, and then I just kind of manipulate it to be sure it covers this pie plate. I'm putting a hole in it right there. That's where I ripped it when I was unrolling it. And I'm just going to kind of let this take the fluting of the dish. The dish is fluted, so I'm just going to Actually, going to slide it over a little bit. Mm 
All right. So I don't really, I'm not really worried about how pretty this looks. I just mainly want to get it in the pie plate. This is a family meal. I'm in a hurry trying to get it done. So. Yeah. I'm making a bigger mess than I'm helping because I'm in a hurry. That's what happens when you get in a hurry. I'm just folding the pie crust under it. All right, now I'm going to move over and we're going to work on the filling. Okay, everyone, let's get the filling made. I went ahead and just kind of nuked the cream cheese just a little bit to get it a little softer. And I would say that's perfect. Look who's here. Hey, guys. Hey, stop that for just a second. I got a question for you. I got a question. For me? Yeah. Oh, I thought for them. Do you know how snails fight? You ever thought about that? How do snails fight? How do fight? snails fight? Not that we're promoting fighting. They're sluggers. They slug it out? <laughs> they slug it out? I was close. <laughs> Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Okay, you've had your joke for the day. All right. I really had not heard that. <laughs> Okay, so to our two blocks of cream cheese, I'm going in with one cup of sugar. And we wanna beat this till it's nice and fluffy. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start preheating my oven. Y'all do that? Y'all stick pans in the oven and then forget they're there? <laughs> Thank goodness I had just stuck it in the oven and had not forgotten. Alright, so to our cream cheese and sugar, we're going to add three eggs. that was a shell but it wasn't it's a little piece of white goop from the egg I guess all right there we go see that little white piece right there I thought that was a shell but it's not just making sure Just making sure. Okay guys, it was a shell. So, I thought I saw one. So do as I say, not as I do. Always crack your eggs in a separate container before you dump them in your batter. I was able to get it out. In fact, it is uh, right here. So, um, just always, I, I do it in a hurry, but always crack them in a separate container and then put them in your batter. That way you don't mess up your whole batter. But all is well, I got it out. I thought I saw one. My, I have eagle eyes uh, when it comes to stuffing my food. If I go to a restaurant, I can spot something that's not supposed to be in that food. And I'm not even going to talk about it. But I can spot it a mile away. And I always 
try to spot it before my husband gets sick. <laughs> but, okay, so like I said, always do as I say, not as I do. I should have done that and I knew better. All right, so to our three eggs, our cup of sugar, and our two blocks of cream cheese, we're adding some vanilla. All right, now, after we get this all together, we need to make our fudge filling. This has got a cream cheese, it's got caramel, and it's got fudge. It doesn't get any better than that. All right, so let's move on to our fudge sauce. I have 12 ounces of chocolate chips and I use semi-sweet. You can use milk or milk chocolate or semi-sweet, whichever you prefer. Um, and I have a can of sweetened condensed milk. And we're just gonna nuke this in the microwave. Goodness. It's really caramelized sweetened condensed milk. Sorry for the lawnmower. All right, I'm going to nuke the chocolate chips and the sweetened condensed milk um, 30 seconds at a time to get it, um, you know, melted down. Let's check it. Each time I'll stir it. And so I'll just bring you guys back when it gets all melted and gooey. We're only gonna use part of this so you will have some chocolate sauce to save, okay? Okay, everyone, here is our absolutely gorgeous fudge mixture here. All right, so what we're gonna do, let's get this pie going. Let me get the caramel sauce out of the refrigerator. I'll meet you back right here. Okay, so now this pie calls for either a cup of pecans or a cup of salted peanuts. Well, I had both. So I thought, why not do the best of both worlds? So I used a half a cup of chopped pecans and a half a cup of salted peanuts. So in the bottom of our unbaked pie shell here, we're going to put our nuts. Can y'all see how good this pie is going to be? Okay, now we're going to take about a half a cup. This is a little bit bigger, but I'm not going to fill it quite full. A half a cup of our caramel sauce and we're gonna pour it Let me get a little more we're gonna pour it over the nuts I'm gonna get just a little bit more of the sauce if I can just a little bit. All right, there we go. Okay, so now on top of this, we're gonna get a half a cup of our fudge mixture. And we're gonna smear that across the top of this caramel sauce and nuts. All right, is your mouth absolutely watering and are you salivating yet? I am. <laughs> all right, now here comes the hard part, getting it all smeared and everything together. Oh my God. Now you may be asking why am I naming this pie after Judah? Well, the name of the pie is June Bug Pie, and the the bed and breakfast that we uh, visited is called the Red Rocker Inn, and this they put this on their June menu, or they did, and um, but Judah, when even before he was born, before he was even born, we referred to him as Judah Bug, so. And, and Judabug kind of came from Junebug, so um, it's just fitting. So now that I've named one after Le Judah, I'm going to have to find one to name after Levi. 
All right, so to that mixture, we're now gonna pour our cream cheese mixture over the top of this. I have never made any pie like this at all, so y'all, I'm super excited. <laughs> super duper excited. All right, and I'm glad I used that pie dish because this is full and overflowing. All right, so we're going in a 350 degree oven for almost an hour. So about 50 minutes, we'll check it. Um, and I'll see you back here in just a little bit. Well, everybody, the cake is, not the cake, the pie is out of the oven. Um, and Mr. Jokester has gone to catch some cows. So they are working with the cows right now. But there is our pie. Um, so I'm going to let it cool absolutely completely. When it's done cooling completely, I'll try to heat up that fudge sauce again and drizzle some fudge uh, on the top. Um, I don't, it's really thick, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to thin it down enough to, to put any on top. But if not, it's still going to be good. So, all right, I will, I can, and I do have chocolate syrup, but, um, Anyway, the pintos are going for our supper. Be sure to come back Monday. I'm going to share this supper time with you. Um, but yeah, so I don't know that you'll get a taste test today since I'm having to chill it and cool it completely before it's edible. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm going to wait before I end this video. But if by chance the taste test does not get done on today's video, be sure to come back Monday We'll talk about it on Sunday's video as well, but uh, be sure to come back and see the actual taste test of it if I don't get it on this video. So, all right, I'll see you guys in a little bit, hopefully. I'm going to let it cool. I'm going to set. I'm gonna turn the fan on, set it over here in the fan, and then get it in the refrigerator um, so we can hopefully get a taste test on this video. Okay, everybody, as you can see, I have a helper, Mr. Levi. Can you say hello? Hello. And Mr. Judah. There we go. All right, here is the pie. And I have kind of loosened up my fudge sauce a little bit. And I'm just going to take this and smear a little bit across the top. And we'll probably have extra fudge sauce, but that's okay. We can do all kinds of stuff to... Use that fudge sauce. But then again, we may not have enough. I mean, any extra. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. These little boys walked over here from their house. And so they come to see what Bubbles was up to. And I told them it was time for them to go home. Because their mommy probably wants to see them. <laughs> they said, no, we want to stay with you. So, they're staying over here for a little bit longer, and then we'll send them home. All right, I so, you want some chocolate? Hang on, I've almost got it on here. I'm breaking the... Help me. Let me... Help oh, me. what do you want? Um, chocolate. You want chocolate, too? Yeah. Let's cover that hole. All right, the cake, the pie is ready. I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator. We will... <laughs> we will... There you go. I, I'm getting you some right here. They want chocolate. Uh, chocolate. All right, you got dirty chocolate teeth. Gross. All right, hop down. All right, we'll be back for the taste test in just a little bit. Okay, everybody, the pie has been cooled. I've chocolate, and I'm fixing to cut Bryant a pea, so you are going to get a taste test. Um, we're going to, he has asked that I drizzle some of that um, caramel. He loved that. He absolutely, so he wants me to drizzle some of that on here. So we are fixing to taste Judah Bug pie. I should have got a pitcher before I cut it. Let's see. These fluted pie 
plates are hard to get the piece out. Oh my, oh my, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right, everybody, look at that. I've drizzled some of that caramel on it. Look at the layers. You see the nuts on the bottom layer. See the nuts on the bottom layer, the chocolate, the cheesecake, and then the chocolate again. Wow, is that not amazing? All right, so Bryant's coming to give this a try. Okay, hey, here hey, he hey. is. Look at that. You Look ready? at that. It looks fabulous. If the pie is anything like that caramel, it is going to be out of this world. I've never had this before. What's it called? Judabug pie. Judabug pie. No, it's not what's it called. Actually, it we're naming it Judabug pie. It's, mm -hmm. The name is Junebug pie. Mm-hmm. Really <laughs> mm -hmm. I taste cream cheese, taste chocolate. What else is in there? The caramel, mm -hmm. peanuts, yep. pecans, mm -hmm. decadence. It's rich. <laughs> yeah, I bet. It's rich, but it's good. If you have diabetes, take a pill before you eat this. <laughs> Did you take yours? No. Anyway, this right here is good. A cup of coffee? Mm -hmm. Nope. She's been a good girl today. I'm trying to be good. I did lick the chocolate. Mm -hmm. And I did lick the caramel. Where do you go? Judah Bug Pie. Judah Bug Pie. A.K.A. June Bug Pie. Yep. And you got the recipe where? Uh, from the Red Rocker Inn. Mm -hmm. One of the bed and breakfasts we have attended. Sorry, we, we, <laughs> sta we stayed there about three years ago. Yep. It was In a, Black Mountain, North a Carolina. pastoral appreciation yep. gift for us. Uh -huh. Really good. That's a good pie. Alright. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. You heard it here. It's a keeper. Alright guys. Well, I am going to um, try my best not to take a bite. I'm going to stick it back in the refrigerator, out of sight, out of mind. But you've got to make it my family's going to love it, so um, be sure to uh, tune in, hopefully Monday's video, and you can see their reaction to the pie as well. But, all right, I'm going to get this out to you right now. Oh, remember, the grease is hot enough. You can fry anything. Bye, y'all.